Tuesday, everybody. Here we are. I have something exciting to share with you today. Um, you know, I've been asking the group what kinds of uh, like added training would they like to see? What kinds of upsells would they be interested in? All that kind of stuff. And one member mentioned they wanted to understand better how to use the email builder within Funnel Gorgeous. Now, if you're new to my channel or, or new here, you know that I uh, train and support on two or three different uh, platforms. One of them is Funnel Gorgeous, which the back end of that is um, Go High Level or High Level. Uh, another program that I support and love is Kartra. So I thought, you know what, let me just do some uh, platform specific training here in case there's people here that uh, want to see that. So that's what today's all about is how do you use the email builder within, and I'm just going to say funnel gorgeous, but again, go high level uh, is the back end program. All right. So if you're a FGF user, make sure you pay attention and hopefully this will be of uh, use to you. So I'll be sharing my screen here in just a minute. And if you're watching live, as always, make sure that you tell uh, StreamYard that, um, you know, that you're giving permission. Okay. So you just have to tell StreamYard, yep, it's okay. Uh, then I can actually see your comments. All right. So let's let's jump on here. Um, <clears throat> again, whether you're watching live or on a replay, just let me know in the comments what um, marketing, email marketing system are you using? And again, I understand that there's some people that are that are using free systems like MailerLite. You know, no shame in any of that, wherever you're at in your business. Let me know what uh, platform you're using. At the end of the day, it's all the same in the sense of we are trying to engage our people, <laughs> excuse me, the people that's on our list, right? And I've had several videos and newsletters, and I'll link a couple of them in the notes later. Uh, so, I preach this all the time. When you are emailing, one, make sure it's loaded of value because that is what's going to attract people to you. And that's what's going to get them to open your emails. You know, we're fighting against a really crowded market. Uh, email boxes are stuffed full, especially this time of year. Everybody's offering, uh, you know, their great sales and all that kind of stuff. So, you want to make sure that you offer something of value that makes it worth people's while. All right. Now, a word of caution. Uh, when we jump into this email builder, and again, I've said this before, keep it simple. Now, we're entrepreneurs. We're in the online space because we have that creative mindset, right? We love jumping in and creating things and making things look so beautiful. But I keep t saying this to people over and over again. The more pretty you make your emails, the less chance for them to actually get delivered and opened. Now, I know that that's kind of maybe sounds contraintuitive or something, but Here's the deal. Anytime you're building your emails and you're padding it with all of this stuff, these pretty images and all of these links and all of these special HTML coding that goes in the background, the servers see that and they say, oh, this is just a newsletter, aka junk mail. So they throw it in the, the spam folder or sometimes they don't even deliver it. So it's nice to be able to create this blog looking email to your list, but use this tool with caution and use it primarily for, um, I say, your warm audience, people that know who you are. And yes, they're excited to read that or at least to bookmark it so that they'll uh, come to it later. So I hope that uh, makes sense. If you're following along, let me know in the comments if that makes sense to you. Now, um, 
after saying all that, then why even use it? Why not just create kind of a raw <laughs> looking uh, email? There are some advantages. So there are certain things that you probably repeat over and over again in your email, like your email signature. You might have a small logo at the bottom. You might have uh, one call to action that's the same on all of your emails. So for things like that, when you use these email builders, you can create templates so that you can just use that piece over and over again. One thing that I've started doing, a uh, little plug, if you're not on my email list, make sure that you do. Um, I've been offering the option of people can click a link and actually listen to my email instead of reading it. It connects people to the back end to a little private podcast. And interestingly, I've been watching the numbers and that's gaining momentum. People love that. Uh, you know, and my emails are pretty short, maybe a two minute to read or a two minute le uh, listen. So because I use a simplified template, I don't have to worry about recreating the link and recreating all of that kind of stuff. So I'm just saying that there are um, some advantages to use these email templates and builders, but you just need to, to use them with caution. All right, so let me share my screen. Let me just move all of these things out of the way. And give me a second here, open up the right screen here. Okay, so it looks like you can see my screen. And let me pull this over to the side here. So again, what I'm demonstrating today is FGF funnels or the go high level funnels. And uh, you'll see over here to the left, they've kind of changed the looks a little bit recently. But under email marketing, this is the window that I'm at. And with email marketing, what you can do is you can just jump right in and create an email. Once you create it, then you can actually build what I call the templates and you can use those over and over again. So I had started one here just called Welcome to the Membership Area, and it actually was um, a template that Go High Level had, and then I just uh, jumped in and changed it a little bit. So when you hover over this, you can either edit it or clone it. I'm just going to edit this one so you can see what's involved here. So when you get into this, now, if you're, if you're not familiar with... Um, like HTML or creating web pages and all of that kind of stuff. At first, it might seem a little overwhelming. Just think about this like blocks. And so it, you can see as I hover my cursor over here, this is one block. And within this block, then I can add different elements or different components. So just like when you're building your funnels and your website, it's similar to that. So if I wanted to edit this uh, block here. If I click on it, then over to the left is where I would edit it. So instead of saying welcome to your membership area, um, I could just say um, welcome to your course area. All right. It's that simple. Now let's take a look at some of these other things here. Within Funnel Gorgeous or Go High Level, these they're called custom fields. <laughs> so if I wanted to use the person's first name, the custom field is contact.first underscore name, you know, with the little curly brackets. Most of the time you can just click and go down the list and find whatever custom uh, tag or custom text that you want here. But that's what all of that stuff is. And so this little email, basically it's just using their first name. It's uh, thanking them for joining the particular uh, membership site. And then it gives them the login credentials. And then I've added my user signature. Well, my user signature gets pulled from the settings area. I go into my user and then that's where my little signature line, my logo, all of that kind of stuff, all right? Now this down here, this bottom block 
is kind of preset information and it will automatically kind of date stamp it with the copyright for the current year, uh, the location. And again, it's pulling all this information from my settings. All right. And then it also pulls my unsubscribe link. So you don't really have to worry about anything there. This tiny little block here, notice it's pointing to the Facebook, Instagram, all of that. You do need to modify that. So, and I'm not going to do it today for the sake of time, but, you know, if you, um, you know, you'll need to add what your Facebook link is, Instagram. And if it's something that you don't use, like I don't use uh, Twitter, then I can just um, delete that. Uh, Google Plus, I'm not using that. I'm not really using Pinterest yet. Okay, so, and then again, you'll just wanna click on those and make sure that you put the appropriate link. All right, so this is a uh, kind of out of the box template and I'll show you how to find that in just a minute. And I've tweaked it just a little bit by modifying uh, down here and adding my user signature. So super easy to use. Up here, the placeholder, this is where you would upload your logo if you wanted to add that logo. And again, I won't uh, do it here for, uh, um, for sake of time, but you would just upload that. Now you'll notice if you're into using the workflows, all of this stuff up here is very familiar. It should be because it's similar to how the workflows are set up. So we are in the edit tab. If you click the settings tab, this is where you can assign your username. So when you click on that, go to user and then put in username. The same thing with user email, uh, same thing with the subject line, and then you could type in your preview text, all right? Then this last thing, so uh, let me start back over here. So you would create your email you would modify any settings that you need here, and then you would click on send or schedule. Now, very important, make sure that you always send in what they call drip mode, uh, if you don't wanna get your hands slapped. So what that means is uh, the backend server will send out just a few emails at a time. Uh, so you'll wanna drip them out maybe every five minutes, uh, I can't remember the ratio that they told us, but basically, you know, just send a few at a time so that the servers, and again, you've got these servers kind of watching each other and you don't, you don't want the server to say, oh, this is just junk mail because they just pushed out a thousand. Uh, so just kind of drip them out. So that's uh, important to remember. And then who do you send this to? So the beauty is you can, and right now, um, we're just looking at a stripped down version. I could send it to all of my contacts, okay? Um, or I could search and I could send it just to maybe one or two of my contacts. I could also send it to what we call a smart list, which I'll do a, a video on that another time. But uh, you could create a smart list for everybody that signed up for your workshop, for instance. And then you could just say, okay, uh, everybody in that smart list is going to get this email. All right. So pretty, pretty easy. Now, before we leave the edit uh, mode here, the most important thing that I can suggest to you is always, always, always send a test email. So you get all done, you think everything's good to go, you click on send a test email, and uh, again, you can um, say that it's from you, and then you put in your uh, test uh, email here, and then uh, you can put the subject line, and then you send the email. I cannot tell you how many times I am like convinced that it's a perfect email, but once I send it to myself, you know, just mentally looking at it in a different window, then you'll notice some typos or make sure that if you have any links that you test every single link. And if you make a change, even if you're changing something in the body of this, do the whole thing again, send a test email, 
test all of your links because things happen and you can fat finger something and then all of a sudden it doesn't work. All right. So as they say, uh, what is it? Measure twice, cut once. So just always test and retest uh, so that you know that uh, everything is uh, going to go through OK. All right. And then again, then you just go ahead and click send and then you send it out. Now, let me um, exit out of here. And now let's start from the very beginning, because, again, this is a template that I modified and then saved it. So this template, if I wanted, I could just clone it. And then let's say every week I'm sending out an email, I could clone it, then I could modify the body of the email, and then I'm good to go. But if I wanted to create a brand new email, just click on this. And within um, Funnel Gorgeous or Go High Level, there's some sample emails here. So this is the one that I used for the membership uh, welcome email. Here's a very simple one if you're running some kind of promotion. And then here's just a blank one just to start from scratch. So let me just click on the simple one so that you can take a look at that if this is your first time using this. Now, again, you know, we look at this and we think, oh, this is so pretty. I'm so excited that we can have all of this stuff. Again, the more junk that you put into your emails, the fancier that they look, the less chance, unless it's a really warm list, the less chance of getting it actually delivered and getting people to open it. Now, uh, a good rule of thumb, I, I try to limit like a link only to one link and maybe one small image. Um, usually I'll have at the bottom my um, little logo and my signature. I keep it small. Um, again, it's nice that we have all these uh, options here, um, but if you're looking for deliverability, just want to rethink that. Now, what is all of the stuff over here on the side? Basically, these are different options on building an email. Um, so this number two here, if I click that number two, see what it's done up in this section? It's created basically a two column newsletter. All right. I could make it a three column if I wanted. All right. I'm going to go back to just a one column. All right. So um, and I'm just going to click done here. So you can modify these. And when we look at these, all of these are just one column uh, text here. And then if there's something else that you wanted to add, if I wanted to add another text block, I can just click drag it over. Here's my text. Okay. If I wanted to add another image, drag it over. There's my image. All right. So again, it's just like in the builder. Um, if I wanted to add a button, you know, it makes it super easy. And so that is another advantage when you're building out your emails. But again, the more complicated, the less um probability, I guess, is the word I'm looking for of getting people to look at this. All right. Hopefully that uh, makes sense to you. So as you're building your emails, you just um, make it however you want. Once you're good to go, make sure that you send out the test email, um, set your settings, and then you click on send and then send it to your entire list if that's what you want to do or to a smart list. Always send the test email. I can't emphasize that enough. And then you would just click and review and send. Uh, this is giving me a lot of error messages because um, I don't have it completed here, which is a good little safety check for you. All right. And then uh, when you're all done, you can save it, of course. And then when you come back out, so here's the one that I just created. Then in the future, I could just clone it and I could send that uh, like next week or whatever. All right. So let me stop sharing here. Bring this back.
Okay. So just as a quick recap, when you're sending emails, keep it simple, as simple as possible. And as I've mentioned in other training, try to only have one call to action. Now, it's not to say in tiny print at the bottom, you can't have a link to your Facebook group or your Instagram account, but through the body, you should only have one purpose of that email and one call to action. Now you can duplicate that call to action. You know, you can have a button at the top or a link at the top and then a link at the bottom if you wanted, but a confused mind doesn't take action, right? Confused mind won't buy. So only have one call to action. Always test test and retest your emails before you send it out and give lots of value. The bottom line is if you're not delivering value, people are not going to sign up for your emails. Hate to tell you, but that's just how it is. So that's just a little sneak kind of preview behind the Go High Level Funnel Gorgeous using the email builder. Uh, if you're using that platform and you have questions, reach out uh, in the group. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, I would love it if you subscribed and uh, feel free to join the Facebook group. All right. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.